The Indians are in Miami where the Marlins are celebrating the 10th anniversary of their 2003 World Championship squad. Pudge Rodriguez and former manager Jack McKeon, among others, on hand for the festivities. Nathan Ivaldi, the Marlins starter in a second inning jam, two on for Cleveland, and Lonnie Chisenhall will single into right field. That brings home Jan Gomes, and the Indians grab the lead one to nothing. Scott Casimir making the start for the Tribe. In the third, the leadoff man's aboard for Miami, but Jan Gomes will erase that as he picks Jeff Mathis off of first base. Nice play from behind the plate from Gomes, and the Marlins lose their leadoff runner. Later in the inning, there's a man on for Ed Lucas, and Casimir gets some more help from his defense. Swung on a little looping liner to second. Leaping grab by Kipnis! Oh, Jason Kipnis went up as high as he could. WTAM provides the call. Casimir escapes the third unharmed. Bottom six, still a one nothing game, and Kazmir's doing the heavy lifting himself. He'll strike out the opposing pitcher, Ivaldi, for out number one. Two batters later, Ed Lucas goes down swinging, and after that, Giancarlo Stanton strikes out to end the frame. Six innings, two hits, and seven Ks for Kazmir. Top seven, the Indians trying to pad their lead. They have men at second and third with one out, but pinch hitter Jason Giambi will pop out to Ed Lucas in foul ground. That's out number two. And then Michael Bourne will line one into right field off Ivaldi, but Stanton makes the grab to end the frame. Seven innings just one earned run for the big right Evaldi. Bottom seven, Brian Shaw, the Indians reliever in a jam, two on and one out for Miami, but he'll strike out Jake Marisnik on a foul tip, and then Jeff Mathis also strikes out on a foul tip. Shaw K's the side, and the Indians remain in front by a run. Top eight now, Michael Brantley at the plate against Chad Qualls with a man on third, and Brantley delivers the big two-out single up the middle. That scores Mike Avilas, and Cleveland doubles its lead to two-nothing. Bottom nine now, Chris Perez on to close, and the Cleveland defense continues to shine with Donovan Solano at the plate. The pitch swung on a blooper, shallow center, Bourne coming hard, he dives, he made the catch! Oh, what a play by Bourne! On a little flare to center, Michael Bourne racing in, made a diving backhanded catch just before he crashed to the earth. WTAM provides the call once again. Perez is pumped up. He delivers a 1 2 3 ninth, and the Indians blank the Marlins 2 0. Cleveland records its AL leading 15th shutout of the season. The Tribe has now won 10 of its last 11 and 15 of 20. Meanwhile, Scott Casimir has not lost since June the 10th. That's spanning 10 starts. He lowers his ERA to 3.89, and he improves to 7 4 on the year.